What, what are you doing there? I'm just trying to get into the crevices there. And get, because I, when I was using my nail, I was scratching it. Yeah. It's a case of really just trying yeah. to remove all the loose, flaky bits. Yeah. At, at times, I just that French polishing pad sounds like the way to go. If it didn't mark it or scratch it. So this is burnishing? Yeah, you're basically, as you, as you remove the excess, mm. you're taking away... Oh, yeah. um, you're taking away any overlaps and if you do it all in the same direction the, ca the light catches it and travels across in a more uninterrupted uh, fluid kind of a way and then after about a month a lot of these overlaps and these, these kind of marks that you see here now and even even the way that the, that the size is drying below the leaf it's, it's kind of like a skin at the moment that seems to kind of uh, cure to a point where it, it, all of this flattens out and uh, you see less of the creases and less of the, the, the thumbprints, fingerprints on it. Uh, some people use uh, cotton wool and uh, I find it easier just to use my finger as long as I keep it clean. It's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. She's mm. happy. I, you know, I sent her a few pictures of close-ups and stuff and she said she was happy. The idea uh, originally was to actually buy a decommissioned sub from the Norwegian army, <laughs> uh, and who were the only ones that were willing to talk to her. Uh, and finally, for a finish, they, um, they couldn't work it out in the cost of it and everything. And it was to be moored in Venice for some biennale, and uh, someone was going to be asked to live in the sub and, and guild it at the same time. So that could have been yours truly. <laughs> Fortunately, it's another one that got away. I feel like that, light, that guy just didn't line up uh, for, for, for a roll of Casablanca and didn't get it. <laughs>